Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, um, following my mastectomy journey. Um, today I am doing a video on what's on my Amazon wish list. Um, I'm going to have a few pictures on the right side, bottom right maybe, or yeah, bottom right, um, of the things that I did get, but I don't, um, actually have out here with me. Um, so I am part of the BRCA, uh, BRCA gene, uh, Facebook group, and they actually helped me, um, get a few of the things on my wish list, like what to get, what to expect, all of that. So if you or someone is going through what I'm going through, I highly suggest being a part of that group. I can also post a link down below on my descriptions um, of the link to that group. So today, let's begin with what I got on my list, on my wish list. Um, so one of the things that I did get was uh, Bidget, which I do not have a picture of that. Um, it's just an attachment. I didn't get the really expensive $400 or whatever really expensive Bidget that's out there, which I do really want because I actually fell in love with the Bidget um, after my surgery. I think it's highly necessary, uh, not, into get, not to get into gross details, but it did help me. Um, after my surgery, I could not wipe myself. I'm sorry. Sorry, my watch. After my surgery, I could not um, wipe myself after I pooped. <laughs> um, so to avoid my mom and my husband having to do that for me, the Bidget came in really good, oh, sorry, my puppy, um, and like it works great. It was very handy for me. Um, it does clean. I mean, like I said, it works great. It's cold because it's not the $400 one, but it still works. So I got the Bidget Lux, the Lux Bidget Neo on Amazon. I think it was about like $37, I'm not 100% sure. Um, I created my Amazon wish list. It's called the surgery wish list. Um, and I actually just sent it out to close family and friends. And then whoever heard about my journey, if they wanted to see how they could help me, I sent them the wish list. And I don't think I purchased anything on that wish list actually everybody got something from that wish list and I was really grateful because I haven't been at my hospital job for more than a year so I was worried about my income and how I was going to be getting paid I know my husband works and he makes great money but still we're a two income household so me not working was really worrisome to me in the very beginning um, but my job had things in place to help me, which is great. Um, sorry, I'm a little nervous with this video. Like I said, this is my second YouTube video. Um, I gotta stop saying, um, but like I said, I was super grateful for everybody. I will be doing maybe a GoFundMe and, um, possibly accepting donations for like bras and stuff like that because I I was an A before my surgery. Um, that's another reason why I had to get expanders put in because I was so small. So when you're small, you can't get um, implants put in right away. You have to get expanders put in. Watch out, Winston. Um, so they can stretch out your skin slowly but surely so you don't get stretch marks. So your skin isn't super thin. Um, I don't know if anybody's watched Botched before, how some of the people get implants and their skin is so stretched out. It's like thin and you can almost see through it, like their veins and stuff. So to avoid all of that, the wonderful expanders were put in and once a week I do get them filled. It is very uncomfortable, but it's part of the process. So moving on. 
After that, I uh, also put Abgard 3M hand sanitizer on there, which I actually use every single day at work. I bring my own hand sanitizer with me while I'm working because the one at the hospital dries out my hands. And the Avgard um, 3M hand sanitizer actually has lotion in it. So I'm a huge fan. And I brought that to the hospital because I just wanted hand sanitizer, you know, to be a, available for me right by my bedside when I had to eat food or anything like that. Um, or if I saw a doctor or a nurse and my dog's going to keep playing with the, the wire. No, Winston. I'm sorry. Um just so I could have it at like my disposal. So I got that and I loved it. I'm very grateful for that as well. So whoever bought that, thank you so, so much. The only bad thing about the wish list is I don't know who purchased what <laughs> because it didn't tell me. Some people put what they purchased, like a thank you, um, like a, hey, I purchased this or whatever. Uh, good luck on your surgery. But I only got one or two of those. <laughs> so I don't know who purchased what or anything like that. So everything was a guessing game unless they told me. And a few people did tell me. Uh, the next thing I got was the pregnancy pillow. Which is actually right next to me. And it's been my best friend. Huge pregnancy pillow. This helped me sleep when I got home from the hospital. Uh, it was probably one of the best things on my wish list. I mean, everything was great, but this is it. It's, it's pretty freaking big, but yeah, it was one of the best things on my wish list. Uh, without it, I don't think I was able to sleep very comfortably. I think I would have been miserable and I was already a little bit miserable with sleeping even with that and the wedge pillow that I do have because I would wake up in the middle of the night and just be uncomfortable with like the uh, wound backs. I am a side sleeper. I am not a back sleeper and that is what killed me the most. Um, that was very hard on me and I had to sleep like that for a good like three weeks. Not very fun. So that one was the Pharmacy Doc Pregnancy Pillow. I wrote everything down so I can sort of get like the names in case anybody wants to look it up or Google it. Like I said, I will have a link down um, below for my wish list, but I just want to make sure I get like the names correct. Um, I also put on my wish list the laptop desk thing. So. It's a little wooden table that actually goes over your lap. And it was amazing because when I was sitting on the sofa, I didn't have much range of motion like I do now. I don't have all the range of motion that I should have like I did before, but slowly but surely, I'm feeling better and better every day. Some days are harder than others. Um, when I get filled, it becomes you know, the next day is I'm sore, but it's to be expected. I'll get more into detail about everything that I've been going through in another another video. This is just mainly about my Amazon wish list. Um, so that was amazing. And I think my cousin or someone purchased that for me. I can't remember, but it came in handy. I used it for almost every meal. Um, my mom would literally just cook for me and make something and put that over my lap and I could eat. Uh, the next thing was, so medical bath stool, it was adjustable. Best purchase too. <laughs> it helped me take a shower because the first week and a half, almost two weeks, I could not wet my breast. So with the help of my mom and sometimes my husband, when I would shower in the morning, I would just sit on the stool and my mom would sponge bathe me, which was extremely hard not to wet the wound backs, but it worked. I also got some lanyards 
which helped put my drain tube. So I would just put the drain tubes in this and put it around my neck and my mom would sponge bathe me. Um, I got two and I actually, someone donated these for me, to me. Um, that BRCA group on Facebook actually donated quite a bit to me, which was really nice. I even got this pillow from a donation from one of the ladies there. Um, and it's actually my favorite pillow. I was going to pay it forward and I still am. And everything that, not everything, but some of the clothes that I obviously don't need anymore that has like the pockets and stuff for the drains, I will be donating back to whoever needs them and the lanyards. So, but this pillow I'm gonna keep. I actually still use this pillow because I am a side sleeper. I like to hug it so I'm not touching my breasts while I'm sleeping. I also have an amazing puppy who loves to snuggle his mama. So if I have this in the way, nobody can touch my breast or me or come too close, which I really love. And I use almost every night now. Um, best thing, best thing. I think I'm saying that about everything. Um, I also got this donated. I have two of these. I will be um, paying it forward and donating these to someone else who will need them. These were for the drain tubes as well. You put it around your neck and you put the tubes in here, the drains in here. Um, it's just easier to lug the, the drains around. They're not very fun. They're very uncomfortable. And it's hard to figure out like how to be comfortable at home. And those things were something that helped me along the way. I also got nipple cream. So this is actually one of my favorite things. No, I've never been pregnant, but when my cousin was pregnant, I suggested um, Mother Love Nipple Cream. That's it. It's an all natural nipple cream that moisturizes your nipple. So when you're breastfeeding, your nipples get chapped. So I sent her this and she loved it. So if anybody's pregnant in your life, there's a baby shower, Send them this. They will be your friend forever if they're going to breastfeed. I use it because the group told me that sometimes your nipples will feel weird, get chapped. Also rubbing against the fabric of your clothing. Like it took me a while to even be able to wear a shirt over my head <laughs> or anything because I did not like the fabric touching me. Now I don't have any feeling in my breast like that, but feeling like the fabric rubbing or against my skin just felt weird. And I still don't have feeling now. Um, it's almost like your leg falls asleep and you feel like pins and needles. That's how I'm feeling now. On Friday, I was told that I might only get 50% of the feeling back, which is really hard for me. But like I said, that's another video. That's another time. So I've been using this cream. And because I did the nipple sparing um, mastectomy, it's worked wonders. I love it. I don't get that like gross, itchy feeling when I put on a shirt or anything like that. So I highly recommend this as well. And that's again, Mother's Love Nipple Cream. It's all natural, so you don't have to worry about putting chemicals on your breast. Um, what else? Oh, the post mastectomy um, robe. My stork sister actually got this for me and I love it. So it has wonderful pockets in the inside for you to put your drains in. And I lived in this robe for about two weeks um, in my house, just underwear and this robe. And whenever I had to go do something, obviously I couldn't just put the robe, leave the robe on, but it has two pockets on each side for your drains in the inside. It closes. It has pockets on the outside for you to put your cell phone or anything. It is amazing. And my BRCA 
Jean group actually donated another robe. So I was able to, wa like while one washed, I was able to use another one. Um, this is not my size, it was an extra large, but I just, I was like, send it on over because the more the merrier. I think it's the same company. It's called Gownies and they do mastectomy stuff. So same deal, two pockets on the inside, one on each side, one on the, I mean, um, yeah, one, uh, two on each side, one on the right, well, two on the right and two on the left. And this also has pockets on the outside. So I was very, very grateful for these robes. I lived in these, best thing ever. And then they also donated this to me. It's a shirt. I think I did a video, like a quick video on Facebook or Instagram with this shirt on. And I, ha I went to some of my appointments with this shirt on. It has pockets on the inside for the drains. And since it was a donation, Someone wrote, no one fights, no one fights alone, which was very encouraging because that means I have people supporting me and helping me throughout this whole situation, even people that I, I don't know. Um, and it says, keep praying, we will, which was really nice. I really... I love this shirt because of that. I didn't like the style, but it just meant so much more to me because of the message. And someone also donated a sweater to me, which has inside pockets as well. I'm telling you, these inside pockets are going to save your life if you're doing a double mastectomy because you're going to need to put your drain somewhere the first two weeks. Um, and you're not going to want to wear the lanyard around all the time. It's going to start to hurt your neck. And you're going to be really sore. So advice. Get stuff with pockets. Pockets are going to be your best friend. And also the Hydrolux shower head. Which my friend Ashton actually purchased for me. And I love. And it was one of the best purchases as well. Um, I think I'm saying that the whole video. Everything was great. So I don't know which one was my favorite. Um, that came in handy when my mom was sponge bathing me. Um, it was just easier to take the soap off of me without actually wetting the wound backs. Um, and it went very well with the stool. So great, great, great purchases. Um, I actually still use the stool to this day. Um, I'm still recovering. I haven't gone back to work. I don't think I'm going to go back to work till like May 13th or something like that. I am not ready. Um, I'm not 100% or fully recovered. Um, even when I go back to work, I'm still going to be recovering. But the stool I use now, because I'm a huge bath person and I cannot submerge my body in water, like in a tub. So I actually just put the shower head on a mist mode and I sit in the shower and try to just enjoy the the steam and the heat and it also helps with like the nerve pain that I go through so great investment another thing that's a great purchase is the cold swedge pillow I actually used the pregnancy pillow along with the wedge pillow which is right here it's huge but this is the wedge pillow. I'm gonna turn it around. This helped me sleep on my back. And I used both this and the pregnancy pillow to sleep on my back some days. Um, sometimes I would just use the wedge pillow. Sometimes I would use the wedge pillow and the pregnancy pillow to get comfortable at night. Sometimes in the middle of the night, if I just used the wedge pillow, I would actually wake my husband or my mom up if I couldn't sleep comfortably and ask for the pregnancy pillow. And they both helped me with my recovery. Um, I still actually use the pregnancy pillow to help sleep comfortably on my side because I still get a lot of discomfort. The wedge pillow I use for 
to elevate my legs. Um, sometimes I use it to sleep, but I prefer my side sleeper pillow, which I just have because I'm a side sleeper. Um, I did put like a few things that I thought would help me get through my whole ordeal, my whole situation. Uh, one of them was um, French bulldog, bulldog socks because I have a Frenchie. Um, my friend actually got me a, this Frenchie shirt. It's custom. It's a custom shirt she got me for my birthday. But the Frenchie socks I still use. I use house socks because I don't wear shoes in my house. And I actually used, um, didn't use them in the hospital, but I did use them at the hotel after the hospital because I stood in the in a hotel 24 hours after my hospital stay just in case I wanted to stay close to the um, hospital 24 hours after. Um, scrunchies. Scrunchies are a big one. Amazing because obviously you're not going to have a lot of range of motion or anything like that. You're just going to want your hair back and out of your way and out of the area where they just did the surgery. So I did put Frenchy scrunchies on there too. And like I said, those aren't a necessity, but it did help with my mood. It cheered me up just to have, you know, a little cute item. I do recommend getting sweats. Of course I have sweatpants at home, but usually everything I wear is super fitting. And when you're just getting mastectomy, you're not gonna be able to push a pool, pull your pants up if they're really tight. So I put sweats, um, they're loose woman uh, yoga pants, and they were amazing. I think I used them for three or four weeks nonstop. I even went to some of my appointments with them. Very easy to, to put on and take off. I didn't need help, you know, anybody pulling my pants down or anything like that. Because um, in the beginning, if you do wear tight something tight, you're not going to be able to pull them down yourself. So that was another great purchase. Um, with the Bidget, because we rent an apartment, we, do, we don't own a house or anything, not yet. My husband did have to get a toilet connector, which I will put the link down in that below because it's not in my wish list, but I guess I can add it now to the wish list. Um, it was a B1 T16 toilet connector. I don't know what that means, but all I know is that's what you need to connect the bidget to the toilet so it works. Um, oh, another purchase. Well, I had it donated to me. It's a mastectomy pillow that just sits in front of you while you're uh, riding in the car. Um, I use, I still use it every day. It was a donation for me, but I did have it on my wish list. Um, so I will be posting the link to my Amazon wish list down below. That helps. You're going to need that because you're not going to be able to have the soup out, you know, against your chest or anything like that. So get the mastectomy um, pillow for your car rides and for your car ride home after your surgery. I'm trying to think if I need if I missed anything else. I don't think I did. But if anybody has any questions, you're more than welcome to... Hold on my little, oh, I'm not supposed to be picking him up, but I just had to show him, right? If anybody has any questions, you can DM me or um, you can DM me. You, I have Instagram and Facebook and all of that. Um, I'm more than happy to answer any questions. Don't be afraid to answer, like ask weird questions. I'm here. I can answer as as much as I know though. So don't don't go crazy and ask me medical advice and stuff like that. I don't know any of that. I just know what I've went through in my experience. And I'm just trying to be there and be supportive for anybody who's going through the same thing I am. Because like I said, I did have that Facebook group, but I didn't know exactly what I would be experiencing. Um, nobody went step by step with me and told me, this is what you will be going through. This is everything that you'll need. Um, but anyways, I hope you enjoy my video. Have a great one. Um, and thank you for watching my mastectomy journey.